Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Cabarrus County Arts Council right here in the old courthouse in Concord. Got a lot of beautiful things to show you today and a lot of other information. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We're going to give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, as David said, we are at the Cabarrus Arts Council Galleries, and it is located in the historic courthouse here in downtown Concord. And they operate five galleries on the first floor of the historic courthouse, as well as the Davis Theater upstairs, which um, has wonderful traveling shows throughout the year, has some new things coming up for this season. But I uh, just opened this wonderful show here um, at the Art Galleries with exhibits from um, local and regional artists. The current exhibitions include Figuratively Speaking, which is a collection of artwork from various artists that portray the human figure through different media such as paintings, drawings, pottery, dolls, fabric, and sculptures. Then the Shop Seagrove exhibit includes pottery from six of the famed Pottery Towns potteries and are available just in time for holiday shopping. And a third exhibit currently on display is the Home of the Perfect Christmas Tree. And this exhibit includes ornaments and other handcrafted items based on Gloria Houston's book, The Year of the Perfect Christmas Tree. Now, the Cabarrus Arts Council Galleries, they have exhibitions that roll for about once every two months. Um, it's free to come through and browse the galleries. Um, but what the cool thing is, all the artwork exhibited also is for sale. And they also um, have a gift shop with some less expensive priced items as well. Um, the Cabarrus Arts Council is located at 65 Union Street South in downtown Concord in the historic courthouse. Hours are weekdays from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. and also on the second Saturday of each month. For details, you can call them at 704-920-2787 or log on to CabarrusArtsCouncil.org. Oh, there's some beautiful pieces here. Thank you can you. just kind of wander around and, I mean, you know, time flips away. You know? <laughs> now, in the preparation of the cold months of winter and individuals and families who need assistance for paying their home heating cost, you can apply for the Low Energy Assistance Program. Now, the Cabarrus County Department of Social Services is taking applications for the Low Energy Income Assistance Program through November the 13th. Now, applications will be taken from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. at the Cabarrus County Department of Social Services, and that's located at 1303 South Cannon, South Cannon Boulevard in Kannapolis. Now, the office will be closed on November the 11th in observation of Veterans Day. Now, applications will be taken on Saturday, November the 7th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant. And that address is 8615 Park Drive and also at the Midland Fire Station Number 1, and that's at 12805 Highway 601. Now, eligibility is based on the household income and how many people live in the home. Now, low income energy assistance checks will be mailed to qualifying households in February of 2010. So for more information, just call the Cabarrus County Department of Social Services, and that's at 704-920-1400. You know, that's a great program, it, I mean, because I is. know some people have been helped by that. That's great. Well, the David H. Murdoch Research Institute is providing a series of events on Tuesday evenings in November and December to show how their technologies are being used to make advances in disease, agriculture, and nutrition research. Each event will begin at 7 p.m. For details on each, uh, the details for and the series and the topics for each Tuesday night, um, you can register by emailing workshops at dhmri.org or call them at 704-250-2600. And for more information on the entire series, just log on to dhmri.org. Now there's this event coming up. This is a great show, okay? Now, and I'm, I'm telling you, you need to get your tickets oh, yeah. soon on this. Now tickets are on sale for the Holiday Follies. Now it's a performing art show that is, is perfect for the entire family. Now this show features singing and dancing and comedy routines by these award-winning performers of statewide senior center competitions. Now this was, there's some really talented folks out here. Now the 2009 Holiday Follies will be held on Saturday, December the 5th at Mount Pleasant High School, 
Uh, performances will begin at 7 p.m. Now, advanced tickets are on sale now at the Cabarrus County Senior Center, located at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord, and also at the Mount Pleasant uh, Senior Center, located at 8615 Park Drive in Mount Pleasant. For additional information about these holiday follies, call the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704 nine two zero three four eight four now now this auditorium seats between i think it's like four to five hundred mm -hmm. people last year sold out wow so uh i'm telling you get your tickets quick it's, it's a fun show yeah. they do it's it's we have very talented individuals um oh. so lots of fun lots of fun well this is something that's really important especially um for those of you who may have had um, damage to property in the past due to natural disasters. Um, of course, sometimes in Cabarrus County we're prone to flooding. Actually, we had a flooding event right. um, last year that created quite a bit of damage and a lot of folks had to apply for assistance for that. Um, really important program, the Hazard Mitigation Plan. Um, this is required by the county to um, create this hazard mitigation plan and it allows property owners with this plan to apply for assistance in the event of um, disasters if, if there's damage to the property. Now there's gonna be an initial public hearing on a revision to the Cabarrus County Hazard Mitigation Plan on Monday, November 30th at the Cabarrus County Governmental Center. The hearing will be held in the multi-purpose room at 6.30 p.m. And this meeting is, or hearing is to solicit input um, related to any known or perceived natural hazards within Cabarrus County and the current hazard mitigation plan. Now, the existing plan evaluates hazards in the county and establishes hazard mitigation practices to address those hazards. Adoption of the plan qualifies county residents to apply for assistance following a natural disaster. So again, it's very important um, to get that input. The current plan is available for review online at the Cabarrus County website at cabarruscounty.us slash EMGMT slash hazard mitigation .html. Now the public is invited to participate in the hearing. Neighboring communities, agencies, businesses, um, academics, nonprofit organizations, and other in, uh, other interested groups also are invited to participate as well. Any questions concerning the hearing should be forwarded to Cabarrus County Emergency Management Department by calling them at 704-920-2143. Now, Cabarrus County, in cooperation with the Town of Harrisburg, is going to be creating a new land use plan for these predefined areas in and around Harrisburg. Now, that's uh, loosely bounded by kind of the Rocky River and Rocky River Road and uh, the Mecklen Mecklenburg County line. So the plan will guide leaders in Cabarrus County, the town of Harrisburg, and the county, you know, public school system. Um, and when they, do, you know, consider the new developments that are coming in and also kind of the school construction and where those locations will be. So this is a great opportunity to get some input. Now, please come out to the kickoff community meeting. That's Thursday, November the 12th at 7 p.m. It's going to be at the Harrisburg Elementary School. You can learn all about the Harrisburg area land use planning effort. Now, bring your friends, your neighbors, and lots of ideas about how Harrisburg area should be developed in the future. For details and to sign up for a meeting notice which was great, just log on to http planning cabarrus county.us or just call 704 920 2141. And this is a great opportunity yes. because, I mean, you know, you plan ahead of time, mm -hmm. and then that way, with all of these, uh, you know, the town of Harrisburg, the school system, the county all working together, mm -hmm. come up with a great plan, and uh, of course, all the input from people who live there. Right. I mean, that's that's right. the key part. Right. So you know, um, you know, you can plan where development's going to be, so you, you can control that. And also, it's not just for those that live in the town of Harrisburg. It does right. kind of go around the borders of the town limits. So um, go to the website, check the map, see if uh, your property is is in that expanded area in and around Harrisburg. Well, children ages five and older are invited to come share their love of nature at a free event at Franklin's Park. You can become a tree musketeer and take <laughs> oh, that like fun. Like and take a walk with park rangers throughout the park and learn how to identify trees and have fun creating colorful leaf prints. 
The Tree Musketeers event is free. Just meet at the Cabarrus Home Builder Shelter near the lake at 11 a.m. on Saturday, November the 7th. For details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Tree Musketeers. Tree Musketeers. <laughs> okay. Uh, join the park ranger Saturday on November 7th for a guided nature walk through the trails at Camp Spencer Park. Come on out and discover all the beauty Mother Nature provides. This is a free activity and registration isn't required. The walk begins at 10 a.m. and meet at Helms Hall at Camp Spencer Park. For details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Great. And maybe you can be a tree musketeer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You that. learn about trees there too. I know, I'm I know. Sure. It's great. So it's, it's a great time of year to be learning about trees. That's Beautiful right. colors right now. Well, the Greater Charlotte Antique and Collectible Show is featuring its spectacular this weekend at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Big show. And of course, yes, the spectacular means that there are even more vendors than at the regular shows with just acres and acres of unique items. So you can come out for antique furniture, decorative accessories, ceramics, lighting, pottery, glass, silver rugs, linens, fine art, sculptures, quilts, books, jewelry, clocks, glass, textiles, and a whole lot more. So it's, it's it's a great event. It's a big show. It it's is a big show. show. Getting ready for the holiday season right. here, too. So the show will be held from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Friday, November the 6th, and also on Saturday, November the 7th, and then from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. on Sunday, November the 8th. Admission is $7 for adults, $6 for senior citizens, and it is free for children under 16. For details on the Antiques and Collectibles show, just log on to CabarrusArena.com. Now, Cabarrus County Senior Centers are going to host their Friday night dances at two locations on Friday, November the 6th, and that's going to be from 8 until 11 p.m. Now, come to the Senior Center located at 331 Corbin uh, Avenue in Concord and enjoy the music by Night Train. Yeah. There you go. Now, or hear the music by the Classics at the Senior Center at 8615 Park Drive in Mount Pleasant. Admission to either a dance is $5 at the door. For details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging or call Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3484. And just have a rocking good time out there. <laughs> Well, we've had a lot of information on the show today. If you've missed anything or need some more details, you can always go to our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click the A to Z index so you can scroll through a lot of the topics, or you can just type in the item in the search box there at the top of the page. Uh, find all your information there. But of course, you can always drop us an email if you need more information at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. And don't forget to sign up for our email newsletter. Also on our website at cabarruscounty.us, just click the join our mailing list link at the top left of any page. Type in your email address. You'll be set to go receiving all the information we talk about at Cabarrus this week direct to your email box each week so you can plan out your week and have all those websites and email addresses right there at your fingertips. Right so there at your favorites. That. There you right. go, you know. And also, if you have family or friends who don't have Time Warner Cable, you can just stream us on the internet. Just go to cabarruscounty.us and then uh, around the home page, there's a little video box comes up, all kinds of things pop up. At that point, you just click on the little channel 22 and you can kind of see everything that we have and we stream and you can watch it on demand and uh, tell all your friends and families. And again, make that your favorite. So. That, that's right. <laughs> and if you haven't had a chance, you really need to come on down and check out this. I mean, this display here is the exhibit is really, it's really interesting because it's, it's really different but I mean, the quality of work here mm -hmm. is superior. I mean, it really is. And so, so many different, I mean, between the, the human figures and right. the Seagrove pottery and then the Christmas ornaments, just a huge variety right. and it's gorgeous. Cabarrus Arts Council Galleries is just really a wonderful gym that we have here in the county. So do stop in. Yeah, I mean, it's just a great place if you just want to kind of chill out. You know, <laughs> it's pretty nice. And uh, until next week, you have a great one.